Hi guys! So today you only see my feet and my awesome Nirvana tank top and my sweater. Um, because today I'm gonna sh teach you guys how to d make dreads. Uh, to be more specific, uh, synthetic dreads and they're transitional. Here you can see I already made a bunch of them but I need to make like uh, the double amount. Uh, yeah. Here you can see, I don't know if it comes off that well, but if it doesn't, um, I will put a picture of it also. But to explain it, uh, it is kind of like, wait a second. It is one color dread, like fading or twisting into another color at the end. So... Uh, that is what I'm going to show you, and I'm going to show you this uh, single-ended one because that is the one I'm going to use, and I'm, that's probably the easiest one. And it's kind of like almost half a year since I made these, so but I'm going to put this in my hair in May because that's when I am a uh, Rus, and then I don't want to like fix my hair every day. If you don't know what a Rus is. You can check out uh, some my old video uh, on that topic, um, uh, or you can just uh, Google it, or maybe you're in a regional or something, and then you probably already know. So now I'm gonna teach you how to make these type of dreads. Whoa! Um, so first we can get to all the things that you need. Um, first off, you need hair. Uh, I've used, uh, this is uh, the light purple lavender pastel colored one and it is called uh, Sassy Afro Silky 100% uh, well uh, if you ask at a extension shop they will probably know what you're gonna need to make threads um, this is really cheap it's about 70 kroners but you're also going to need two different colors for this. Uh, so the other color is blonde. This is 50 runners. And this is by the brand um, Touche or something. But it's really easy to find and it's really cheap. So that is a good thing. So you need two different colors of here. What you're also going to need is a flattening iron. Any type of flattening iron iron would work. Uh, you're going to need a kitchen towel or just a normal towel. I use a kitchen towel. You're going to use a comb, a normal uh, hair comb, uh, a normal bottle of uh, water. This is not what it says on the bottle. I just put water in it because it's empty. You're gonna need some pair of scissors, I got this one, and you're gonna need, uh, what, what, I don't know, I don't know the English name for this, but, you, you get it, you know what this is. So now we are going to open this package, and I'm gonna show you how to part them. Uh, if you want the same length, uh, of extension, or no, of, uh, dress that I have got, which is this length here. Yeah, it's not it's not that long, but it's kind of like a normal hair length, I guess. So you just open the package, take it out of the plastic, be careful, take that off. And here you got your hair. So it is like a rubber band at the bottom here, and you're just gonna carefully take that off by cutting it with your scissors because if you don't cut it and you just try to drag it off you'll probably mess up so much of the hair and that's not needed and on the top hair the fun thing is that this hair is double this length you know so you're just gonna open this huge braid here and you get a lot of hair so I'm just open it. Make sure you don't like uh, drag out too much hair when you do this because 
I will tell you, in the beginning you will be so careful with the hair and not spill anything, but at the end you will be like, ah, I don't care, and then you will get hair everywhere. So, here it's opened, and uh, if you want this length, you have to cut it in half, because when you make this, this will be half this length, length so it will be like this length. So <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain, but when you get when you see the the rest of the process, you will understand. So then, what you do is you just cut uh, over the rubber band like this, like this. So here you have the hair that we are going to use now. So just put that away carefully. Make sure not to spill that much hair. And this part, which still has the rubber band, you're just going to fold carefully and put it back in the plastic bag. And then you're going to do the same with the blonde hair. So if you're if you're like me, this will take a couple of months because it's kind of boring when it comes to like uh, the end. Then you have like done it for so long that you kind of get sick of it. So here I parted the hair again and here you have the rubber band and then you just take your scissors and then you whoops and then you cut off one side like this. Then you put this back in the plastic that you take it took it out of and this one which doesn't have the rubber band you are going to use to make your dreads. So the next thing you are going to do is uh, put on your flattening iron and I prefer it at 200 degrees. Uh, you don't need to put it at 200 degrees as I do, but that's just the way I do it. Okay, so if you already know how to make normal uh, synthetic dreads, this will be very easy for you. But I will explain it step by step just so you get like the whole picture of it. What you're gonna do now is uh, that you're going to take this... Uh, thingy and just put it under your feet like this I wanna put it the other way uh, just so you have the hook here if you already have made synthetic threads you probably have like the idea of uh, how much uh, hair you're gonna use in uh, when you take like the amount of hair to make one thread and if you have made that what you're going to do now is take the half amount of hair that you normally use if not I'm just gonna show you a quick view of how to how much hair you're gonna need to make like kind of this size and if you see my finger it's a bit thinner than my finger um okay so i have now taken an amount of hair um i it's been a while since since i've made dreads but i think i think this is pretty pretty good if you want bigger dreads than mine you can take uh, more but i don't want that because i want them to be the same size and uh, what I'm going to do is I want uh, purple at the ends and blonde at the top. This is the top and this is the ends. So I want uh, the blonde to kind of squirrel into, into purple. So then you're going to start. This is kind of strange, but you're going to start with the color that you want on the bottom. So this is the color that I want on the bottom. So what you do is you take your hair. And put it around the hook and you have to have something that can open so you can like because this is going to be closed so then you have to have something that you can glide off like this so that's why I use this and then you take the two ends that you have here put them together and then you have like it around the hook like this so the next thing you do you uh, you part them into three parts like this and then you just make a normal braid like you do with your hair or maybe you don't do it maybe you're like me and you almost never braid your hair but try to make it a bit tight you are going to braid for as long as you want the opposite color to only be the one color so I'm just going to braid it for a while and then I'm kind of gonna compare it with the dreads that I already have and then see how long I am going to do it so this seems about right 
Then I'm going to take this thread and put it beside and as you can see that is about right. I'm sorry that these two colors seems like uh, the same color on the screen but that's just the way it is. And then you can take the three, par three parts and just put them together and now you are going to need your comb. Uh, what you're gonna do is back comb or tease or whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to show you real quick. What you do is you comb the right, no, the wrong way, I mean. So this would be the right way to comb because this is with the hair and here's the tip. But you're going to comb the other way. Just like this. So, wrong way. So you kind of like push it up. And then you make it fluffy and uh, that you're going to have to do this to make like the dread uh, stick together and don't worry to make this really messy because you can just do like this and then you go you yeah, then you're good but just remember that it has to be kind of even just like don't make like a big bump here and nothing here and then a big bump at the end because then the dread is not going to be uh, smooth when you're done with it. So, and uh, now I've done this part. Uh, this is now kind of closed so the braid won't open. So now I just put that to the side down there because now we're going to do, do the blonde part. So now you're going to take uh, about the same amount of blonde here, uh, which is uh, the color that I'm going to use at the top of the dread, like to my scalp. So what you do is you put it over the hook again and put the two ends together again but now you are not going to braid it. So the part you are going to have at the top you are not going to braid. Just back home it. And obviously when you back home it uh, it's going to get thicker at the top and thinner at the bottom because you are kind of pushing all the hair up to the top but I can guess that's pretty obvious do like this to make it more even and to feel where you get the bumps and make it even so here we got the blonde part and now I'm going to show you oops it just fell off put it back on so now I'm gonna show you how to do the rest uh, so now you're kind of done with like the easy part uh, this part isn't hard but I guess this is more tricky so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take both the hairs this is the purple now we can totally see the difference in the colors but this one is the purple which is going to be at the bottom and this one is the blonde which is going to be at the top okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put them together at the two loops are going to be together and then you're gonna start twisting the blonde one around the purple one covering the braid up okay and keep doing it and make it pretty tight okay and then when you come to the bottom of the braid you are going to put it together and then you're going to put uh, the blonde and the purple together like this then you're just gonna turn the whole thing making it twist down like 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 this so here you kinda already have the dread but if I let this if I let this go this will just open up and you have to start all over so now to the sealing part uh, you are going to leave the ends fluffy because we're going to do those afterwards because they are going to be thinner than the actual dread. So now to the flattening iron, water and towel. Take the towel and put it over the dread, covering it up. Then you're going to take your water and spray a good amount of water all over the dread. Don't be generous with the water, just take as much water as you can without like making the whole room wet then you take your flattening iron and then you're gonna flatten it and that sounds strange 
So you just put it on there and you're going to hold it for about 10 seconds I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're going to move it downwards t until you've covered the whole braid. So I'm just going to do that while you listen to this song. And then once you've done it this angle, you have to do it this angle or, or else it's going to be flat. And we don't want a flat braid down here, okay? So do it the other angle and listen to the song while I do it. So I think that's enough and yeah sure it is so here you got it it's sealed and now we only have to do the ends what you do to the ends is that you spray well you turn twist it around as you've done with the rest of the part but this one is going to be thinner so just twist it twist and twist and twist and twist until you only have some small room at the bottom but that is just so you have something to hold in like this well, I'm just gonna move a bit to this way and then what you do is spray water directly on it and then you just do the normal thing that I, you just did with the towel Uh, and that's basically it. Now you can take the dread off and you have the loop here to put in your hair. Uh, really, really easy. And then you're done. Here's your dread. You have a little small, if you have this little small thing at the bottom, you only cut that off like this. To put that away and then you have your whole dread. Matching all the others. So... That's all. It's pretty easy. Now you only have to do that 100 times. So just a little bit uh, about what I know about dreads. Uh, I think uh, they st uh, should stay in your hair for like, if, when you put them, put them in, it's going to stay there for like, I don't know, uh, three months or something. Uh, re it's really easy. You only re use rubber bands and not glue and stuff. So that's pretty easy. But on how many are you, you should use? You... You should at least have 60. Uh, if you make this size that I make, uh, you will get kind of 50 from one pack. Well, two packs of hair, uh, which I used, which you saw now. The two packs of hair makes a kind of 50 dreads. Maybe a little bit over, a little bit under, depending on the thickness and what uh, and how you waste your hair. But uh, that is kind of like. Uh, about right uh, but I want like at least 90 dreads so I just make the double so I used four packs together which makes a hundred dreads and and I will do a updated uh, and how uh, updated video on how I feel like these are but on your hair, you should not use conditioner when you have dreads in because then they will only open up. And when you take them out, you can reuse them, just seal them properly by uh, turning, twisting them as I showed you and use the flattening iron and water. Um, so that's pretty easy. There are different ways to make transitional, transitional dreads, but this one is just like the 
way I know. So if you have an easier way to do, do it, comment down below, put a video response up. That would be great. So I hope you liked this video. Uh, thumbs up if you did. Comment down below, tell me if you like them or if you have made them yourself or any tips or something. Uh, you can ask me questions I don't know that much about uh, having uh, dreads in your hair. But when I, I'm going to put them in my hair, I'm going to show you how to do it as well. But that can be like a long time from now. I'm sorry about that, but that's just the way it's gonna be. That's about it. Like me on Facebook and comment and everything, as I said. Uh, I also have like um, Instagram now. Well, I've had it for a while, but you can also like me or follow or stalk or whatever it's called on Instagram. In which my name is Ida. Ida um eight. Uh, I'll put the the link down below and my name and everything. And you can also always find that on my YouTube channel. So I guess that was all. And hope you like it. So bye guys.